Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to be reviewing the Land Rover Discovery Sport. So guys, here we have the Land Rover Discovery Sport. There are a lot of uh, changes from the last model to this one. Uh, to begin with, um, the signature logo of Land Rover. The tiny grill with the huge Discovery written in the middle with the smartly put Land Rover symbol over there so I would like to say that this car looks really bulky and big like it's rugged and in the Land Rover family that's how they do it so um, to begin with comparison to the old Land Rover Discovery um, in the old Land Rover Discovery I know there are not much changes compared to the old one but trust me when you get to know them there are so first of all in the old Land Rover Discovery there were um, circular lamps in the the uh, lamps in the in the day and in the night so these were circular in the old land rover discovery sport and in this 2020 model that we have here with us um they are the nice led line which are day running lights um when we come around the corner we have the black rims which is the owner's choice um so in this Land Rover has um, options from 15 inches to 22 inch tires. So um, over here we have the 21 inch black alloy wheels with um, the nicely put Land Rover Discovery symbol in the middle, little chrome in the middle of the black tire. And yes, this is an all black car. Um, I would say I really enjoyed this color. Uh, so this has this car is fitted with the R Dynamic pack um, as shown over here, and even on the uh, when you enter the car where the plate is, that's also where it says the Land Rover symbol. Um, what Land Rover has done very um, innovatively has put um, running tail lights. So when so there, there's a feature in the inside of the car which you can set the type of light you want to have. So um, if you see here, the lights over here will um, have a line. So, yeah, it's a line. Even if you come to the front over here, there are lines when you uh, so when you unlock the car, it's just gl uh, lighting up. But when you lock the car there are lines that pop up so in so this is the highest end of the land rover discovery sport it is fitted with the r dynamic pack hence giving it the uh, exhausts over here coming around uh, we have the well fitted land rover discovery symbol over here which says land rover um, lots of people i've seen struggle with the fact that they don't know uh, when they're going to fill up their car, they don't know if it's filled up or not because uh, they don't know if this is open or not. So the only thing that they have to worry about is if the car is open, this will open. So if you lock the car, this will not open. Pretty standard feature in the car nowadays. Uh, so if we come to the rear of the car, uh, it begins with so this is, uh, like I said, this is the highest end of the Land Rover Discovery Sport 2020 model. It's fitted with the rear parking sensor, which is, uh, I will explain that in a minute when we get into the interior. It's basically, so there is, um, instead of having a plain uh, background, this will give you the digital background. Then uh, when we come to the back, the car is fitted with various sensors which are pretty annoying in a few, uh, in s sometimes during the day, but it's a good way to know if you're very close to a car. It's fitted with around six or four sensors at the back. Um, when we come to the tail lamps, so like I said about the front, the tail lamps also have that line. Yes, as you can see the line. And um, obviously this is a petrol 250 SE uh, and Discovery Sport. So, a uh, lot of people don't know this about the car, that this is actually 
the car if you want to purchase it you can purchase a wristwatch which has a feature where if you do this and you're going for physical activities such as uh, you could say going to the gym going swimming you put your watch like this and the car unlocks and your key is inside the car so that's a very nice feature that they put in the car and um, so let's walk around the car and let's get into the interior yeah so guys right before we enter the interior you would have noticed that there is this button over here so this actually locks the car it's like a thumbprint you would say but yeah so um, let me first unlock the car if I put my hand in like that the car unlocks so I'm so uh, if you come real close and listen to this noise when you press this with your thumb or any finger the car is locked when you you don't have to press this and open it if you just put your hand here the car is unlocked and you can open so now let's get into the interior yeah so guys interior now so to begin with when you enter the car first like i was saying before it has the r dynamic written here uh, the car is fitted with a meridian sound system as you can see with a little bit of chrome around the meridian sound system it's fitted here as well with um, chrome around here and real nice quality wood so when you come into the interior there's a very cozy feeling and nice it's not tight it's not too spacious it's like it's it's a correct amount so um, first of all uh, when we enter the car the car the seat moves which I will demonstrate in a second so um, now we'll talk about the console so the console over here has um, lots of different screen it has four different screens that you can see so to begin with over here uh, here are the navigation media and phone so these are my things connected to the so this is my media connected to the phone so this is a really nicely fitted system so um, uh, over here as my phone is connected via Bluetooth it shows over here my battery percentage my um, connection and my there's also wireless charging happening over here as you can see uh, there's wirelessly charging there's a here is a place with the uh, ambient lighting as we're in a very bright place at the moment the ambient lighting is not showing uh, but we will show you that as well so over here when uh, so as you can see the phone's not charging right now as you can see the phone is not charging right now and uh, when we go here sorry one second and it's charging so when we come over here now on the main system there are other features such as uh, you can control all the in inner features of the car using this and the air conditioning system over here so here there are um, the auto maximum and this and uh, maximum AC so uh, over here these dials are there so if you press this button right here and uh, you can change the speed of the fan as you can see that the speed has increased of the fan and if you I usually keep it on this so when you go like this you can see that the um, thing has been set and it stays like that and um, in this there is uh, as you know it's a Land Rover from the family they have all the off-roading features so if you press this you have all the features such as eco then this is dynamic this is um, auto, this is uh, gravel, snow, this is, uh, yeah, it, it also gives you a warning over here. Uh, then this is sand and this is the, um, all the gooey water that gets stuck in the roads and the mud fields, wherever you're going. I usually keep the car on auto or eco, so at the moment we're going to keep it at eco. Over here also it shows the different um, modes. Oh, sorry, can I click that? So over here also it shows the different features and the other things. So now when we come to this, finally. 
so it shows the time on the top it's 110 um, then this has the navigation the media and the phone there are also other options here which we will come to then over here there's the eco data of how the car has been progressing over the years of usage or over the time then uh, the the cameras the surround cameras of the car as you can see the back camera um, also there's one more camera up here um, so as I was explaining about the exterior um, uh, so that camera on top of the bonnet of the car uh, not the bonnet sorry the top of the roof of the car uh, so this is a normal and then when you do that it cancels out all the background that of your reflection of your face etc to just the normal background of the back of the car so um, keep it at that for now um, so there are other features such as Android Auto uh, Apple CarPlay the web browsing uh, voice commands controls uh, like going live and there's also valet mode which is very helpful to um, people when they're giving their car for valet service uh, so they basically lock some features in the they lock all the features in this so no music no nothing will play uh, then also the air conditioning will be at a very certain amount and the tailgate will not open so when we go to the other screen um, there's Bluetooth there's ambient lighting where you have various um, colors to choose from uh, so there's like light blue electrical blue um, sparkle blue moonlight white there are various there's six seven actually no there are like ten colors to choose from we the customer usually keeps it at moonlight I um, don't want to mess with the customers obviously um, then after that there is also smart settings whereas uh, so smart settings is pretty interesting it's uh, when you put the car or uh, so when the, you know how there'll be multiple people driving the car um, the car can you log in or you can just pick your name and the car will set its uh, on display profile and its screen profile to the way you like to drive and uh, when we come this these are the car dim, uh, dimensions of the vehicle um, just to take care of itself the car um, so these are the dimensions of the car in feet and you can choose if you want it in meters or feet um, I usually the customer usually keeps it in feet um, then there's the height at the bottom of the car so now when we come to this there's this huge panel at the bottom which gives a lot of different various features again uh, like you've seen over here there's cameras there's also quick access uh, to the cameras at the back um, then this is for parking the car this is also for parking the car this is navigation this is making phone calls this is media this is uh, Bluetooth this is home this is going back so in settings you can basically customize the car to whatever you want so there's also auto display whereas see everything turned white as right now it's sunny outside if it's um, you can also pick only white you can also pick all black so your whole screen will be in dark mode as you know in phones you have the feature of dark mode will be like that over here um, then auto for the map same thing for the map um, you have various features to choose from the brightness of the screen um, so if you do that full bright here all there basically the brightness of the car uh, then over here are the audio settings which has um, the basic thing in all cars such as um, where the trebles the subwoofer and the bass it also tells us where you want the uh, audio of the car to be balanced or whether to have it in a certain area of the car uh, well then going forward uh, yeah there's that and so this is for the main console area um, one thing that's additional so in this I uh, wanted to tell you that um, this car is the most comfortable car I've been in and I've reviewed a lot of cars um, so this is like a dustbin like I was saying you can just take this and throw it there'll be a lot of stuff that when you go for long trips uh, that'll be garbage this is a huge compartment 
um, that's available when you want to that you can also go like this which is just a whole ap apartment compartment and uh, this is like so when you come over here there are different buttons um, here is your charging you also have two USB ports uh, and here is a micro S micro sim so in this you actually can put your sim in the car which will have benefits such as a uh, software update automatically um, yeah it will uh, have software updates automatically um, it will um, also have um, the car being updated to the Land Rover system and um, yeah uh, so now uh, yes also one more thing was there that in these so these are obviously electrically operated seats you would get that with this price level of the car this car is around uh, 86 lakhs um, on road in Bangalore uh, which has I think high taxes so that's why it's a little high priced car so um, over here there are also digital uh, buttons um, which has the menu to operate over there those that can be on a whole other video to come for um, this is one whole different video which we will do in depth um, over here is the um, automatic uh, not automatic sorry this is the cruise control this has a uh, lane assist uh, um, uh, so the this car also has lane assist and this um, the setting of the speed that you want to do your cruise control at so um, the car also has some more features over here which shows which has um, M which is for s basically setting the uh, setting the setting the seat of your car it has different options such as one two and three so the person who drives the car would usually be at one so if you see that the seat is moving to one right now it's moving so with, this is the comfort that um, uh, you can also choose number two that's usually the driving for the other person who's driving this is for the other one this car seat also goes really high up but there's still a lot of roof space when there uh, when a person is sitting and I'm 5'11 and I still have a couple of inches so now let's uh, oh I forgot to mention one thing um, this car uh, Apple CarPlay the def the screen definition of the Apple CarPlay in this car is beautiful I know Apple CarPlay is a pretty common feature nowadays but it is very high definition so I'm going to just show you how to operate that so if I just open my phone yeah it's my phone's open so my Apple CarPlay has shown up over here so over here it has all the navigation the music best part is it shows you where you are it has the this uh, you can call like your favorites um, then your main phone that lots of people don't understand the way to get back to the main menu when having your car or when having your phone on Apple CarPlay right so you might have not noticed but there's a Land Rover button over here so if you just press that it goes back to the main menu and the Apple CarPlay logo is right here so if you just tap on that it comes to the Apple CarPlay screen so now let's get to the back of the car so as many Land Rovers and Range Rovers today uh, all of them come with a panoramic sunroof so over here is the easy button so auto you just press that once it just opens yep that easy and you can also keep it closed if you want to but I don't understand the reason for that it's a beautiful sunroof it's not open fully so it, like a lot of cars nowadays have it open fully which makes it very hot sometimes this car gives you the option to switch it on or off so now let's get to the back of the car so guys now we're at the back of the car so 
this back of the car is so wide and open I honestly love the way it looks um, so a lot of people actually didn't know this to uh, five part um, the seat actually moves back and forward so if you want like obviously this car is a seven seater so it will have a lot of people sitting in the back and they could be tall or short so you might want to give them a little room which means you will have to eat up a little bit of your leg room but it's okay to work with for some time so um, the seat can move back and forward the seat can move up and down yeah, like this this is how it goes they're also electrically operated which is at the rear end which I will show you at the end um, over here obviously this is seven seater so it has this premium cup holders in the middle which have these suctioners to keep it tight not wiggling all the time one useless thing I feel about this is that this is just a compartment what will you put your phone over there when you're bored because that's the only thing that actually fits in there not the best feature Land Rover there in every car anyway so um, it also has a lot of charging cap uh, charging ports this car it's packed with charging ports this is uh, a mounter for your uh, screen if you want to connect your iPad this is a charging port this is a, a, a holder for uh, small things um, then here are two more chargers and this is the other type of charger so now um, same thing on this side here are some uh, controls for if you want it so you have your own controls if you want to make it a little warmer or a little cooler it has lights in here uh, so let's go to the back so guys now we come to the electrically operated tailgate electrically operated with the key so when we come to the back of the car so um, yes this is a seven seater which means the boot space is a little lesser compared to what it would be it would have been a little lower over here but still a lot of boot space so when you pull this um sorry one second. these seats are fully reclined so there's um for easy way to access those seats from the back there are these two buttons you can pull on so so this is for the right side the seat just went down i'll show you for the left side there you go this is a uh, this is the way it goes down it can go down further but not necessary to explain so when you come here there this opens and then the second operation hold this and this comes up as this is a dual tone car it has a beautiful stitching over here and the seats black and white uh, same thing you can do on this side uh, if you're with a lot of people around six seven people you can pull this side as well and pull this I'm gonna put that down for now just to show you guys what I'm talking about so now when we come here you can see that there isn't much leg room so you might want to just put your kids back here um, also uh, another feature is that they have these cup holders which is amazing because um, obviously these seats are not built for adults and for old uh, for small kids so um, small kids need lesser leg room and they have enough stuff to just put your drinks if you want to um, so let's just put these down now. you just have to pull it, pull it. it just falls flat and just like that and there's obviously because electric because electronics is everything nowadays there are also charging ports over here for your children over here as well two charging ports one here one here and here is the changing of the audio I'm um, not audio sorry the AC of the car AC went here so that the people at the back don't feel too hot and um, over here this is a pretty flat uh, change of this so it's easy to take out load quickly they have these so, uh, these to stop the uh, expensive materials from getting spoiled over here there's a light and there's physical button if you want to do that there's also the normal button and a lot of uh, people don't know this but 
if they're in a tight space such as a, their own garage um, you can set the limit to which so if you want your height limit to be this much so that your car doesn't hit the top of the place uh, you hold this for five seconds and make a noise such as ting and it will set so So guys, I'm gonna show you the engine of the car. It's just, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so now, obviously it's a hydraulics system, so it's not going to be, you don't have to put those locks. Those are old fashioned now. Uh, anyway, so now, um, engine's pretty hot. Guys, lots of people didn't know that with this car's power, they still have a pretty compact engine. Um, it has a 1,000, Nine, uh, 119 uh, sorry 1999 cc engine with a horsepower of 250 um, that's all about the engine it's a pretty it's pretty hot day today really hot yeah locked okay uh, so guys when the car is locked uh, you would see that it automatically closes you can see the car is not on from any angle and it automatically just closes.